Today is gonna to be an awesome video because we're gonna run through five race day tips to help you run a better half marathon. I love a half marathon because it's a fun distance and whether this is your first time doing one or you've done loads and are hoping to knock some time off your PB, this video will be useful no matter what time you're trying to run it in. And if you're new here, then hey, my name is James and I'm a sports nutritionist and triathlete and love doing videos on these sorts of topics. So you've done all your hard training and now it's race day. Let's talk about breakfast before your half marathon because it can play a big part in how well you run from both a performance feel good point of view and reducing the risk of unwanted trips to the toilet. Breakfast before a half marathon is something which I would always encourage runners to have if possible because it has multiple clear benefits. You might have heard that you can use fat and carbohydrates for energy, which is true. But during a half marathon, you're going to predominantly be using carbohydrates. We can store some carbohydrates as glycogen, and when fully stocked, we have enough for about 90 minutes of steady, hard exercise. This goes down whilst we sleep and just in normal daily life. This means that carbohydrates should be our focus before a half marathon, and that's what your breakfast should be based on. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, and all of these are great options for your breakfast. The longer you have before your race, the more you can eat. The less time, the less you can eat. You're just helping to top up your carbohydrate stores and feel good, and there's not much more to it than that. With your race day breakfast in general, you want to avoid high amounts of fiber, protein and fat. These are all harder nutrients to digest and absorb and they won't positively impact your race performance so better to stay away on the day of your race. It doesn't mean that you can't have them at all, just be sensible. So for example just have a little bit of peanut butter with your toast or have low fat milk with your cereal. So moving on, let's talk about fluid intake before and during your half marathon. And actually this part is very simple because a half marathon is relatively short in terms of a race. This means that hydration isn't as much of an issue because it's unlikely that you'll become significantly dehydrated over that time frame. My suggestion would just be to have a pint of water with your breakfast and really that's about it as far as your pre-half marathon hydration goes. During your half marathon, it's really about drinking to thirst and any other times you might want water, for example, swilling your mouth out. Strictly speaking, you shouldn't really need water during your race. Race. So it is about drinking if you're thirsty. If you're thirsty, have a couple of sips of water. But if you're not, just carry on running. Of course, this might change depending on the weather or how long you're expecting it to take. But in general, half marathon hydration is pretty simple and you shouldn't need anything like electrolyte drinks or tablets. The best way to pace a half marathon is to negative split it. And don't worry if that doesn't mean anything to you right now. Negative splitting simply means that you complete the second half of your race faster than the first half. It's a really great way to pace your run and make sure that you don't go out way too hard at the start of your half marathon with all the excitement and the noise that's going on. If you've got a goal pace, start a little bit slower than that for the first five to eight kilometers or three to four miles. Then increase it a little bit so that by halfway, you're running at your goal pace. Towards the back end of the race, this is where you'll start to be digging deeper and working hard. And if you've paced it correctly, you'll be running just faster than your goal pace. This strategy means that you'll finish the last part of the race from a really strong mental and pace point of view. And it's actually really rewarding because you'll be starting to catch up and overtake people who probably went past you earlier and you're now feeling good and getting faster and they're just getting slower and trying to cling on. It's hard because you have to fight the temptation to not go too hard earlier in the race, but it's really worth it and you'll feel awesome for doing it. Try it in some training runs too, so that you get an idea of how it feels. And if you've never done it before, let me know in the comments if you try this negative splitting and how you get on. And before we move on, if you are finding this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already, do consider subscribing for more helpful videos. Now, nutrition during a half marathon can definitely help you run it faster. Like I mentioned at the start, carbohydrates are your focus and priority during racing. Ideally, during a half marathon, you want about 30 grams of carbohydrates per hour. And the easiest way to do this is with something like a sports gel. My suggestion would be to have a gel every 25 minutes or so, and this should help to keep you topped up 
no matter what sort of time you're hoping to do it in. There are plenty of gels that you could go for and all of these are good options. You don't have to use a gel, I just think that they are the easiest and best thing to use but you could also go for a sports drink, you could go for a sports chews, or something more solid like Jelly Babies if that's your thing. Just check the packet instructions and how many carbohydrates they contain in the serving and use that to hit your goal. Practice this in training to make sure that you tolerate it okay and it doesn't cause any problems. And it's also great to practice so that you get an idea of the packaging and how easy it is to open, especially whilst you're running, so that it doesn't cause any unnecessary stress on race day. The final thing to talk about for improving your half marathon is carb loading. Now, I guess technically this isn't necessarily a race day tip, but it's really useful, so I wanted to get it in there, so I hope you don't mind. Carbohydrate loading means eating lots of carbohydrates in the days before an event, aiming to maximize your body's carbohydrate stores, or in some cases, even go above the normal limit. Depending on how quickly you're hoping to run your half marathon, Carbohydrate loading becomes more or less important, but I would always advise it anyway. You actually have to eat quite a lot to carb load properly, and normally more than people think. The aim is around 10 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight. This is an example of the carbohydrate content in different foods, and as you can see, to get up past the 600 grams of carbs mark, actually requires some effort. I have actually created a carbohydrate loading guide, which you can download for free. And I've put a link to that in the comment section of this video so that you can get an idea of how much you might need to eat and what sort of foods. Just like in your race day breakfast, you want to have a relatively lower amount of fiber, protein, and fat in the days before your race. All you're trying to do here is focus on easy to absorb and digest carbohydrates and less of other nutrients so that you reduce the risk of tummy upset on the day of your race and actually just perform better too. Normally I would suggest starting carb loading about 36 to 48 hours before an event, but for a half marathon, the day before should be fine. Now don't just eat a massive carb pastry meal the night before your race. Instead, start at breakfast, and my preference is actually to eat more earlier on in the day and taper towards the evening, eating less then, because you're more likely to sleep better because you don't feel as full and bloated and stuffed. Again, this is something that I've planned into that carb load guide, so go check it out if you want a good example of this. Fingers crossed, all of these tips we've been through today will put you on the right track for a new PB for your half marathon. Let me know in the comments when your next one is and what your goal time is. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, enjoy your training, good luck with your race, and I'll catch you next time.